Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 4 August 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly senior online writer Cameron Mackay writes that procurement clarity and prosecutions are key to tackling construction site disruptions. Public Works and Infrastructure Minister Sitle Zikalala has emphasized the importance of unity in condemning and addressing construction site disruption and extortion affecting the industry. The engineering news features focus on construction materials and equipment, where a greater range meets various application requirements and commercial and industrial property, where the market is hindered by interest rates and economic stagnation. The Mining Weekly features focus on valves, where innovative valve solutions mitigate the challenges in African mines, and water purification and treatments, where a nature-inspired oil water separator is employed underground. This week's business leader is Donovan Chinhamdamba, CEO of Nianza Light Metals. And as this week's cartoon shows, residents and businesses that fall within the boundaries of the city of Johannesburg have always known that the council's old slogan, a world-class African city, was more aspirational than factual. And the recent explosion below Lillian Ngoi Street has underlined just how wide that gap is between that aspiration and the lived reality. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.